today I find myself in Ross Renan in Brittany in France. It's a place where my mum lives and I've come over to see her and she's not been very well and I thought I'd have a wander around the town. But I think if you join me you'd agree there's quite a lot to see. This is Footsteps and Tire Tracks and we are Mark and V. We love exploring and this is our adventures into fabulous northern France. Ross Renan is found in northwestern France in the southwest of Brittany, or Breton, 10 miles east of Carhaix. Ross goes to the nearest ferry port and can be reached within 90 minutes. Dinard Airport and St. Malo Ferry Port can also easily be reached within two hours. On the first day, we stumbled on this brilliant 50s cafe bar. So we just had to have some traditional French food and blonde beer. The name Ross Renan means Hill of Thorns. It comes from the old Breton words Ross meaning hill and Dronan meaning thorns. The town developed around the castle, which was built on the hill of Minot by the barons of Ross Renan. On our second day in Ross Run, we found this great Irish bar and we had some really lovely food. Simple pub food, but all the same, it was really, really nice. Market day is every Tuesday and products for sale include organic breads, vegetables, plants and cheeses. There are many legends concerning miracles which have taken place in Rosmanen. One of the most famous being the tale of the statue of the Blessed Virgin, found under a rose bush with leaves and flowers in December 1300, which is now celebrated every August with a traditional religious festival called a pardon, which involves the statue being carried outside by torchlight, and every December with a festival called the Bod Fair, meaning the Bush Fair. Another festival for which the town is well known is the Fiesel Festival, which is an extravaganza of traditional Breton music and dance. At the lower part of the town there is parking for motorhomes and it seems to be free as well. If anybody does know what the painted ants are all about, please tell us in the comments because really I do not have a clue. I think you have to look up the um, alleyways when you're walking around here because initially it just seems like a little tiny town, a little village. But actually when you start going walking around there are these lovely parks and there's architecture everywhere. Sort of modern architecture 
And the most intriguing thing is, I've noticed, is there's ants sprayed into the pavements everywhere. I'll squint a little bit here because the sun's so bright. You wouldn't believe we had such a big storm on the way over. I'm just going to walk down here into the shade a little bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. There are ants sprayed into the pavements all over, different coloured ants, don't know what it's about and uh, the people I've asked don't seem to know. And if I just stop and as I'm talking about it, there's one on the floor there. The fine sandy beaches of the Brittany coast and many traditional fishing villages are within a pleasant driving distance. Lac de Gardelin, I believe is a lake, is just a short driving distance. It offers water sports, sailing, canoeing, water skiing and boat trips, which you can have your lunch on. During the Middle Ages, Rossmenham was an important administrative centre. An imposing building from this era is the 16th century manor, which during the revolution was used as a prison for priests who refused to accept the authority of the revolutionary government. The castle has also been used as a prison, a hospital and a school. Well, I hope you enjoyed Ross Rennan, and if you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel to see more of Northern Brittany and France in the up and coming videos. See you next time, guys. Bye.